speaking of bullies, what's going on with your YouTube case, uh, uh, Mr. Prager? The uh, Prager, you filed suit with YouTube, and I've just heard some bad news, but I want you to explain it. Well, right now we're good, we're appealing because the judge. Remember, this is the Ninth Circuit. I don't know what you know about the Ninth Circuit. <coughs> Excuse me, but it's to uh, uh, it's a little to the right of Lenin, and I don't mean John Lenin. I mean Vladimir Lenin. Yes. <laughs> and uh, anyway, they ruled. This was the interesting thing. So she ruled against us. But without prejudice, meaning we can appeal if we present a different argument. Okay. Right. But what is interesting, and to me, this is a partial victory. She said, and I had said this before she ever rendered her verdict. I said, it will be a victory for Prager University and for the country, more important for the country, if the judge merely announces the truth is Google the YouTube is not neutral, is in fact politically motivated, right. ideologically driven. Sure enough, she said, the notion that YouTube uh, is uh, is neutral uh, and a conduit for all views, these are her words, is mere puffery. Wow. Is this legal terminology that I'm not necessarily... Yes. <laughs> puffery. No, no, but it but it means what it is in yeah. real language. It's right. not just, it is legal terminology. It means it's just it's it's hyperbole of an advertiser. Right. Absolutely. Okay, so fine. So that I agree. Yeah. But that's a big deal. That is now officially noted. It isn't true. They are politically driven. Well, I don't wanna I don't wanna let the cat out of the bag, but I'm sure you guys have some tricks up your sleeve because I know some Prager U people were there at the YouTube meeting and uh, mm -hmm. They went to great lengths to ensure us that that was not the case, that YouTube was a neutral platform. So that's the issue. The issue isn't they can ban whoever they want. The issue is if you're being dishonest about selecting that's right. banning people. That's correct. That's exactly right. Well, we're doing the same thing you know, with Twitter right now. Uh, we talked about this at the SMU show. Uh, our half Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond, has filed a, a petition for information from Twitter because of the ban and the South by Southwest, you know, these policies we don't understand. We don't know why there was the ban. And uh, we don't know if they have an office still in Texas. So that'll determine how we move forward, because in California, I don't think they're required to actually release those documents. So to me, you know what? It's a victory. If Twitter says all you want is information regarding your account and people calling you a neo-Nazi and photoshopping swastikas on you, we're not going to reveal those documents or information. If they refuse to, that's already a victory to me. Because we just, it's not about monetary uh, damages. It's about information here. It's about getting answers. Well, we don't want monetary. It's, it's of no interest to us to get, to get money from them. We, we simply want them to uphold what they stand for. So what's the next step for you with, with YouTube? It's, it's uh, our, uh, our legal team is Pete Wilson's legal team. They came up with the idea. Pete Wilson's former governor and senator of California. He's a, he's a, a big supporter of PragerU. He's a big fan of my show. And uh, kindly, he came out and said, you guys got to sue. This is disgusting. So they have been handling all of this, and they are gonna, w they're going to present other arguments and resubmit it to the uh, to the court. Well, good luck with that. You know, it's funny, we talked about a turning point for us when I was trying to work within the rules and, and get videos monetized on YouTube and find out why we were in restricted mode. A turning point for us was when they demonetized and manually reviewed it and said, this is not advertiser friendly. It was our long form interview on human nature, if human beings are naturally good or evil. That was the video. No profanity. It wasn't even political. And they said, this is not suitable for advertisers. I said, there's got to be a blacklist. And Prager's on it. <laughs> that, that is fascinating that that was the subject. Yeah. That, that is one of the great dividing lines between the right and the left.